Okay, welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. And in this episode of The Shack Show, I'm going to talk about something very specific uh, when it comes to fishing big spooks. So one of my favorite ways of all time to catch really big bass is with spooks. And what I learned over a, many years of fishing them is there's the traditional way of working a spook where you're doing these big sweeps and you have the spook and it's it's walking, you know, walk one side, turn, walk the other side. So basically it's doing some sort of an action like this on the surface of the water. But there's another equally as successful way to work a spook that when you have these bass that are being really finicky and you can't really get them to commit to hit. Uh, you can reel it straight in across the surface of the water basically as fast as you can. And what's going to happen is the spook's going to kind of skip and walk and swim a little bit, but mostly skip and maybe do a little bit of walking across the surface of the water. And what happens is you get these bass that are very, very big bass too. Actually, the biggest bass I've ever caught on a plug uh, did this to me, and I have that on film, so that's just ridiculous that I was happened to catch that on film. But that's besides the point. But skipping across the surface of the water, bass will follow this thing and actually come up and inhale it. And it's unbelievable. You'll like the the bass that I've caught where it's like they're just eating the plug completely. It's it's unbelievable. And the only thing that I can kind of relate this kind like to is every once in a while you'll come across a guy that will work a pencil popper by reeling it and just doing tiny little twitches and the thing just like kind of snakes across the surface of the water like that and for some reason these guys always catch giant fish and it's just like ridiculous because you think in your mind you're like why is like why is this guy catching so many big bass on pencils and it's because he has this way of working a pencil that you know when those bass are in a specific mood that they won't hit a really thrashing around pencil which is in my mind you know the way that pencil poppers are kind of designed to be worked in, in the way I think that they work the best. But again, there's always different ways to fish everything. There's no correct way to fish anything. And the most correct way to fish something is, does the fish want to eat it? So if you're reeling a bucktail across the surface of the water, like a, like a topwater plug, and you're catching giant fish doing that, then that's the way it's supposed to be worked. So in my mind, it's like whatever the bass are reacting to, then more power to you, you figured them out. And that's like a big thing that I've learned. You know, bass just break all the rules all the time. And so whenever I'm fishing spooks or pencils, but specifically spooks, I'll always start out with the normal, very slow walking back and forth across the surface of the water with my spook. Then what I'll do is I'll start speeding that up. I'll speed it up really quickly across the surface of the water and do like normal action, but just a little bit faster across the surface of the water. Then I'll just start reeling it straight in as fast as I can and skipping the spook across the surface of the water. Then I'll start trying to skip it, stop it for a second, and then continue to reel. And it's giving it like that shooting across the surface of the water to look, but giving the bass a second to catch up to it and grab it. So I'll try a whole different variation of things. But one thing that I have found is if you're working the spook, normally and the bass are following it and following it and following it and you can't get them to hit stopping it for a moment and then reeling it really quick across the surface of the water will get those bass to just like hit like like they'll be following it showing you know swirling showing some interest and then all of a sudden you like really really fast and they think it's getting away from them and then they just come out of nowhere and just explode on it and it's ridiculous so um i hope that this video is going to kind of give you a better understanding of like using spooks in many different ways is definitely a great way of uh catching bass that are more finicky and i highly highly suggest doing that if you're having a hard time getting those bass to commit to your spooks uh mess around with it a little bit change up your speeds of retrieve your the way that you're working it everything like that and it's what that's going to do is give you the upper hand when it comes to these bass. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you next time.